Zakir Khan and they brought in Mohsen Kamal. And Sri Lanka have stopped uh, Ravi Ratnaike and have brought in Angama. Ramran to Silver, we wait for the umpire signal at the leg by. Big blow to Sri Lanka, Amar Silva, LBW to Imran for no score, Sri Lanka now two for one wicket. <coughs> Arvinda, there you see the replay, isn't he? Very good delivery, really picked middle and off and came back at him. And he had very little chance really to play that ball. So, a vital breakthrough for Pakistan, this is what they needed. As we were talking about earlier, two for one wicket. But having a particularly good tour is Madhugale, this is Imran once again. Imran to Madugale. Ball came in. Good delivery from Imran. Where? What a bad delivery from Imran. And Madugale stranded the hanging his bat out. Well, there is no doubt about that delivery. Yes, let's take a look at that. replay again. Bowling quite near to the stumps. Ball picking off stump and yeah. then leaving him. Madhu the previous ball he bowled was he brought the Robin, ball in. Yes. Good thinking. Yes. Uh, wonderful sight in the crowd. You see Imran. Ball pitching just slightly offside the off stump and the ball going between Madhugali's bat and pad. Tremendous delivery. Very lucky indeed. Madhugale must be at Imran to Madhugale. Just to get behind that one. A little bit of excitement, so I fielding as a shy at the stump. Well, misunderstanding, he wanted to take single, but the other chap was looking at the ball, not responding. This was a One of the straightforward catch, really. I yes, think uh, uh, Not quite ready for it. Not quite ready for it. Probably went the other way. Here's the replay Let's again. See it again. No sin. A short delivery, trying to hook or pull, got a top edge, and he not running quick enough to reach at the point. Well, that must uh, go down as half a chance. Parugale drives. That's a good looking shot, but uh, no runs. Well fielded by Sai Nakash. Very, very ambitious shot. Uh, not recommended, really. Well, can we know there? Yes, huh? it was a shorter delivery. You see him wrong. It was a shorter delivery. And he was trying to pull him. The ball kept the ball. It's a double pace with him. Yes, yes, we can say now. Quite obvious, yes. After watching the... Silva, Ash out of sight at deep mid wicket, plumb in front was LBW, and that was two down for 42. The 24th over now coming up, the scoring rate at the moment 4.478 runs per over. 24th over coming in, Salim Malik Burley.
One more to Amal Silva. He goes to 48. And Sri Lanka move on to 103. 104, is it? 104 for two. Which brings in Madugale, who is not out. 22. Oh. Sorry, Ranatunga. And it's Ranatunga who was batting. Amal Silva was the batsman out. Ranatunga was batting 47. It's been particularly harsh on the Pakistan bowlers. Ranat. Salim Malik now to Madugale. That's well fielded in the covers. Amal Silva was out for 19 when the score was 42 and the first man out was Arvinda de Silva without scoring. Mudassar was bowling from this end and uh, the batsmen were particularly severe on him, uh, especially Rana Tunga. He bowled three overs for 25 runs. This is the bowling figures after this over. It's 104 for two. Salim Malik to Ranjan Madhukale, who is not out, 22. Steered into the gully position. Let me get one more. This ball is now 23. Bowling gentle in swingers. Salim Malik. Very slow. And it's good to see Madhukale amongst the runs because he's such a fine batsman. He's had a couple of bad games, but uh, in this particular game he's batted so well. Rana Tunga now to face Salim Malik. Rana Tunga is not out 48. He's not out 28, Rana. Two more to Rana Tunga. He's not out 30. In fact, Madhugali is not out 48, and Rana Tunga is not out 24. Got that straightened out now. Rana Tunga 24 and Madhugale 48. Turned away. Use of the wrist. Mudassa there fielding at deep mid wicket. One more to Rana Tunga. He's now 25. And Madhugale 48. Too short of his half century. Facing Salim Malik. It's now 49, and if Madhugale gets one more run, that will be. And that's going to be Madhugale's 50. Well played, Ranjan Madhugali. He stepped into a fairly difficult position for Sri Lanka. He's now not out 50. Applause from this huge crowd. Yes. The offside field, deep mid off, extra cover, cover. There's also a cover on the boundary, and there's a third man. That's the onside field. Driven straight to extra cover. Short. As her door stumps. Madhugale, uh, Ranatunga rather gets a single. Nakash fielding it. One step. Took one step forward and uh, hit it over mid-wicket. It takes a beautiful stroke. Sure, it takes much of the pace off that drive. It's also very well timed. But driven straight to long on, Zahir Abbas. Once again, heaves away. And is that dropping over the line? Yes, it is. Six runs. Six more to Ranjan Madhugale. 
try once again. Heaved the way over mid wicket, and that another six. This is tremendous batting by Ranjan Madhukar. Front foot forward on the leg stump, keeping his head down, well balanced and timed. This one is along the ground, towards deep square leg, motion command of field. Medium fast with Slim Yusuf standing up. Once again, that's going to be out, yes. He's caught as mid-off by Imran. And that's the end of Ranjan Madhugali's inning, caught Imran. Old Mudassar, 73, he is not a happy man at all, cursing himself for playing that shot. And that's the third Sri Lankan wicket gone. No, it was, wasn't a chance, I wouldn't say that. I'm got a bottom edge and hit Salim Yusuf on the pad. Just stepping out and hitting him over mid all he says there was no fielder there they were all trying to save one and uh, Rana Sung has took full advantage of it Dilkash timing के साथ ये चौथी विकेट से लंका की गिरी एक से क्या वन चार चारियों के आउट होने जैसा मैं पहले कह रहा था इसे लाइन अपनी ठीक रखनी चाहिए पहला बॉल था जो कि मिडल स्टंप से उसने किया और आना तोंगा क्रॉस लाइन खेले ऑन पे खेलना चाहते थे ये देखिए एक्शन रिप्ले बिल्कुल सीधा बॉल ऑन पे खेलना चाहते थे क्रॉस बैट शॉट वन डे क्रिकेट में अगर आप विकेट में बॉल रखेंगे तो आपको जिसे ऑन पे खेलना चाहते थे क्रॉस बैट शॉट बिल्कुल वेस्ट नहीं किया नया बॉल नहीं बॉल रोकने के बाद गिर गया Throw का ये रन सलीम यूसुफ सही तरीके से रोक नहीं सके बॉल विकेट में लगी जावेद का अच्छा अच्छी फील्डिंग करने के बाद उसने वापस थ्रो कीपर को करने की जो के स्टंप्स में लगी और डिफ्लेक्ट होकर स्लिप रीजन में गई जिससे के एक को लिया सिरलंकन से राजा मेंडिस की भी अपीलन ये कोशिश होगी कि इस मैच में वे स्कोर करें क्योंकि मधुगाले के बाद वो दूसरे खिलाड़ी हैं जो अभी तक मतलब वे स्कोर नहीं कर पाए हाँ मेंडिस का भी अभी तक जो रन स्वाइल जितना अच्छा नहीं गया बहुत अच्छा प्लेयर है काफी स्ट्रॉंग हिटर है ये देखिए अभी बहुत जोरदार लेग स्टंप पर अटैक कर रहा था मुदत से अपनी फील्डिंग के मुताबिक बॉल किए उसने और रॉय डायस देखें फिर से ये एक्शन रिप्ले मिड विकेट की जाने खेलना चाह रहा था रॉय डायस हवा में ऊंचा गया बॉल और सलीम मलिक ने अच्छा कैच किया पांच अगर अगले पांव को थोड़ा सा झुका के खेलते तो बॉल यकीनी तौर पे नीचे जाती जी हाँ तो फाइव रन फील्ड ही तेजी से बल्ले में आता है और उसमें ये है कि आप सिर्फ टाइम करते हैं बॉल को और यहाँ पे हम टर्म यूज़ करते हैं हिटिंग इट ऑन दी अप जी 
جو کہ تیز وگٹ کا شاٹ ہے اور سری لنکن اس شاٹ کو بڑی کافی اچھی طرح کھیلتے ہیں ہمارے پلیئرز ہیں سلیم ملک ہے رمیز ہے جاوید ہے جو کہ تیز وگٹ پہ اچھا کھیلتے ہیں اور آن دیا کافی سٹروک کھیلتے ہیں یہ سب کچھ وگٹ پہ ڈیبینڈ کرتا ہے جو وگٹ تیز ہو تو پھر آپ اس قسم کے شاٹ کھیل سکتے ہیں بالکل اور اسی وجہ سے یہ ایک سوسیٹ کی جاتی ہے ویسن بین سے Well, fairly wide outside the leg stump, he was trying to flick it and uh, Salim Yusuf moving to his left, took the catch, a very, very good blow for Pakistan and a bad luck for Sri Lanka. So, uh, Dibmer along with uh, Mendes was the best one who could have moved things along. So, once again, Pakistan getting a grip on this match, 110 ball pitching. Leg stump, going down the leg stump, and Demel trying to hook it on the mid-wicket side, and got a thin edge, and nicely caught by Salim Yusuf. Good catch. There's umpire Manullah, no doubt about that. See that dismissal again from a different angle. Well, pitching on the leg side, and he was trying to play on the mid-wicket side, and he got a in it and again nicely caught by Salim Yusuf. Got two of the wickets that have fallen coming in now. The ball to Tied edge. This is uh, tied to Mendes. Swung round to long leg. Imran Fields accompanied by that draw. And, uh, and he's got him away. Single to Salim Malik. run. This is very neatly turned by Mendes that's gone for four to slightly short and uh, beautifully turned round to six. Him run to Mendes. It's a beautiful hit by Ramesh Patnaike. Well, he hit that one really beautifully. Fire to Ramesh at Nike. No, it wasn't a well-pitched ball either. He hit it right okay. on the up. On the up, yes. Up. yes. Thank you, Sami. Sami busy with his calculator. Imran to Ramesh at Nike. That's turned away very neatly. He's going to get runs of it. In fact, four runs. That's a fine shot. Straight off his pad. And now to Sotnaike. Pushed out. Spectacular sight. Sitting from the height. Imran now to Sotnaike. And he's knocked it in. It's a big hit. Gone for four. Well, anything pitches up to here. Ball pitching up. And he's giving a full treatment. bouncer. There's no doubt what Imran thought about that last hit from uh, Mr. Nike with that <laughs> delivery. I don't think he was expecting the bouncer. Imran. Mr. Nike and he's hosted him again. That's going to be four more runs. Proving a very expensive over from Imran and uh, Sri Lanka really piling on the runs now. Work out their uh, run rate at 208. I mean, it's going to work out what the run rate is so far. Well, Ratnaike picking up really well and placed it beautifully. 208. Six. Ratnaike has now moved to 26. morning. Don uh, will be cut off. We'll get two runs. 
Wait for the umpire's signal. That's off the bat, and we'll have to go down as a catch. Yes, in fact, uh, anyway, we will see in a replay, but it was a sort of intended bounce, sir. And he got a top edge, and it went over the lean juice of so that's the replay. Yes, let's see that. We'll go down as a catch. Bouncer trying to hook that and yes. got an edge oh, yes. and it went through Salim Yusuf's gloves. Definitely a chance. This is very neatly turned, well fielded by Imran, single to Pendis. Watson Kamal. And that's out, caught by the Yabat. That's the end of Ramesh Asnaike and Mohsen Kumar get the wicket. Very likely, yes. Kumar to Ramesh Asnaike. Didn't quite get hold well, of it. Well, if you see, his body was away from the ball when he played that shot. And the ball wasn't well placed. So the, when he hit it, his bat came much before and the ball. And it was... Nicely caught by Zaheer. In fact, yes. it was a very easy catch yes. for the leader. Zaheer was coming to the picture. Nicely caught. Akram. That's going to be a wide 200 ball. The ball is very fine. That. He made room for himself to play the shot. Lofted one down to the knees at deep mid-off. Slight bit of misfielding. Tahir Nakash has to come round from the cover. Clipped away. Off. And very entertaining innings from the Sri Lankans. Vijay Surya will settle for 218. Nice shot. This again down to long off. That's going to be a wide. There's umpire. Neatly turned away, roll of thumped past extra cover, four runs. Very fine shot. Going down towards long leg. That should be a wide, and uh, the inning starts in an identical manner to Sri Lanka. The first ball of the day, bowled by Imran, was also wide, and uh, Demel has performed in an identical manner. Wide signal by umpire Shakurana, so Pakistan now go to one for no wicket. Mel to Mudassa. Mudassa wrapped on the pad. There's an appeal for leg, leg before. Mudassa beaten. Well, that one going down the leg side. Anyway, we will see again. Wait for the replay. the replay. There it is. Yes, it was going down the leg side. Mel to Mudassa. Run for Mudassa, he's off the mark. Take one, they think about a second and uh, sensibly decide again. And that was a very close call for sure. He very nearly dragged that one on. Thought he was trying to run it down. Demel. And that's a good shot from uh, finding the gap between point and cover. It's going near the cover boundary. And it's been cut off right on the line. 
by Dyes and Schwab gets it. Didn't get to play in the that's about this match, but has played in the one day international. John to Schwab. That's wide. It's a better ball. You're off for single. Some slight hesitation. So we wait for the umpire signals. The ball running down to long leg. Uh, one run. Then again, some hesitation. Once again, the indication of uh, anxiety, nerves. You call it what you like. Uh, for no wicket. To the doctor. John. To Schwerk. Schwerk pressing forward. Not quite timing the ball. On the gate. John C. Square, single. Nice shot, uh, finding the gap between mid-wicket and square leg. They take two, they think about a third, and uh, then decide against it. Very rightly so. A single, and uh, direct hit. Well, that said, uh, made good as ground, it was safely home, but a good uh, bit of fielding. John, Schwab, pushes forward, goes through for a good single, well just single, well run. That's the replay again. John to Modassa, all pitching just on the next side and playing a typical shot. It's uh, Demel to Schwab, dug that one in. Started to hurry off the wicket a little. Got some movement. The mare is grab. Take the second. Trev will have to hurry, but again, comfortably home. Two more Trev. for no wicket. Grab. Pick out that edge to third man. One run. Grab now goes to nine and Pakistan to 20 for no wicket. Go to For being bold. That was through him, a good delivery. Modassa in trouble. Demel, bowling to Modassa. And this ball didn't get up at all. Yes. He was very lucky that it wasn't straight. Yes, and it was very close to the off stump. The trouble there for Modassa. Well, both Modassa and Mishra, they're trying their best to concentrate. That's driven by Schwab, that should be four on. Square drive, that's a beautiful shot. Great shot. That's the replay, John bowling to Schwab. It was a well-pitched ball, pitching slightly off the golf stump, and everything was correct for this shot, and it was really a very fine shot. From Schwab. Oh, Once again, it's time to pick out that edge to third man, just a single.
25. No wicket. This is the six over. And now it's John to Modesto. Ball could have been very close to being called a wide. रमेश राजा को बाउंसर किया और रमेश ने ये चैलेंज एक्सेप्ट किया ये देखें बाउंसर बल्कि बाउंसर तो नहीं था शॉर्ट ऑफ लेंथ गेंद था इन्हें पुल करने की कोशिश की और ऑफ्टम के बाहर था और इनका इनसाइड एज लगा रमेश सतनायक विनोद जॉन ए फील्डर ये भी लेग साइड की तरफ गेंद जा रहा था और बहुत फाइन एज लगा और इन्हें चार रन मिले विकेट कीपर ने काफी अच्छी डाइव ले लेकिन गेंद बहुत दूर था इनसे ये भी ऑफ्टम के बाहर गेंद गिरा था मुदसर इसे खेलना चाहते थे गली की तरफ गेंद थोड़ा गिर के अंदर आया और उनके इनसाइड एज पे लगा और ये बहुत ही अच्छी सिंगल हुई चवालीस पाकिस्तान एक खिलाड़ी आउट पाकिस्तान की इनिंग के 50 रन मुकम्मल हो गए पाकिस्तान का स्कोर 50 एक खिलाड़ी के आउट होने पर सिर्फ 24 रन बनाए थे हंगामा भी बड़े अच्छे बॉलर हैं और जिन्होंने भारत के खिलाफ तीन टेस्ट मैचों की सीरीज में बड़ी उम्दा कारकर्दी दिखाई थी जी इनको दोनों जाने मूव कराने की अहमियत रखते हैं के छह रोजा मैच में जो बाद में एक रोजा मैच कर दिया गया था इसका लिया अंडरस्टैंडिंग थी रमेश ने ये मिड विकेट की तरफ गेम खेला और ये किया और नजर रन भागे जब इन्होंने देखा कि गेंद उनके हाथ में तो रुक गए मिस रन की वजह से ये बहुत अच्छी विकेट श्रीलंका को हासिल हुई है जो कि बहुत अच्छे मुदस्त नजर खेल रहे थे और ये मिस अंडरस्टैंडिंग की वजह से बहुत ही वाइटल विकेट जो पाकिस्तान ने लूज की है रीप्ले में देखें ये गेंद ही मिडल ने लेग पे गहरा उसमें मिड विकेट की तरफ रमेश खेले रॉजर विजय सूर्या है फील्डर और यस करके लगता है कि नो किया और क्योंकि आगे रास्ते में मदद से पहुंच सके थे इनके लिए दोबारा जाना वहां तो बहुत मुश्किल था जी हाँ 
بڑے قیمتی وکٹ سری لنکا کے پاکستان کے اسکور تریپن دو کھلاڑیوں کے آؤٹ ہونے پر اور مدست نظر سولہ رنس بنانے کے بعد آؤٹ ہوئے لگ رہا ہے کہ رمیز راجے کو بہت افسوس ہے اور جس طرح وہ بیٹھے ہوئے ہیں اور سوچ رہے ہیں کہ یہ مدست نظر آؤٹ ہو گیا حالانکہ اب ان کو اس طرح سوچنا نہیں چاہیے بہت افسٹ ہیں افسٹ جی ہاں اب کپتان جوید نیاد اب کھیلنے کے لیے آئے ہیں تو اب جبکہ سکور ہے تریپن دو کھلاڑی ٹین اینڈ ہاف اوورز ہیف گون سو فار سو دی رن ریٹ اس سلائٹلی اوور فائیو رنز این اوور ایٹ دی مومنٹ بگن ویڈ دی ریکوارڈ سکس پوائنٹ او ٹو آف دی تیٹی ایٹ اوورز تو ویچ دس میچ ویڈ ریڈیوز اریجنلی لنچ اینڈ پریئر بریک ویڈ تو بی ٹیکن ایٹ ٹویلف تیٹی ویڈ دین دیٹ ویڈ اکسٹینڈ for another 20 minutes and then 38 overs were completed and that is when it was decided that this match would now be of 38 overs duration and not 40. Sri Lanka in their innings 228 of 38 overs scoring at a run rate of 6 per over. And then Pakistan went in after the lunch and prayer break. And at the moment, while we are watching the 11th over, the score is 53 for 2. It's Ahangama bowling to Rami. That's a wide ball. Niyadad on strike. Ahangama bowling from the college end to the Pakistan captain. off the mark immediately and in fact is going to get a few runs that might carry to the boundary two men are after it Vijay Surya there getting to it first yes. Javed Miyada off the mark with three and Pakistan go on now to 57 fine shot to get off mark Beautiful long drive. Ahangama now to Ramiz Raja, who's not out 16. Go through for one. Tucked away. Beautiful shot. Going to the square leg boundary. Forward. A very fine shot by the lead. Straight to Dias. Fielding in the covers. Going through for one. Madhugale running round from square leg. Go through for one. Nasrana Tunga coming in from point. Go through for one. The ball was played towards mid on. It was a good ball. Placed on the off stump and came back in from the Good piece of fielding there by Rana Tunga. The 13th over of Bini. Mendes at deep mid off. Batsman completing a single. Go through for one again. Mendes fielding fairly deep and wide at mid off.
go two for one, and they should or should not come back for a second. Let's play it out to Longon, Roger Vijay Surya, the fielder, and one more to Ramiz Rauta. Lovely weather. It's really the popularity of the one-day game, which is apparent from the crowd. One would like to have such crowds in test matches. That would be tremendous. Bowling change coming on, and Ramesh Ratnaikin comes into the attack from the pavilion end. He is bowling to Ramiz. Dias in the covers, the fielder, as that ball is struck all along the ground. Steered, pass point. Madhugala comes uh, running round. That's Madhugala. Didn't get hold of that one. Getting the bottom and the inner part of the bat. I think time it as you would have liked to. Trying to pull it from at an off stump. Would have been better off that he played it on the off side through covers. It wasn't that short. Ball to play full throw. Two times. Exquisitely executed. Didn't leave the ground from the moment left the bat and went speaking to the boundary for four. Beautiful straight drive. Fantastic. And perfect right. position. Weight. Well balanced. That's on the onside. And are they going to go through for one more? Miyadad is ready, but very wisely, Ramiz refuses. He saw Rana Tunga there. Neatly tucked away. He didn't know much about that one. He was looking to climb. Tunga now to Ramiz. Go through for one. Vijay Surya there coming in from long on. And the batsman completes the second. Put a bit of pressure on the fielder. That's going to go to four. Uh, a very valiant effort, but he couldn't stop there. A beautiful strike again. Asanta Demel there, trying to prevent that four. That ball, ball was traveling like a rocket. Must we have timed it very well. He is on the station of Lake Town. He was in a very good head. Well, there's a slight hold up in play because pitching a hangam. Similar sort of a shot. This time, Jamal is ready. Bit of misfeeling again. Ramiz plays that so, so well. He's uh, got most of his runs in Australia playing that sort of a short. No ball. That's a lovely shot again. Straight drive, past the bowler, but Vijay Surya is making good ground. Another that's a wide. Oh, but he has an action not dissimil dissimilar to that of uh, Jeff Thompson. One more, just before the time of delivery. Which must be making it from he is 71. One, yes, he used to have a similar sort of an action. Oh, so it's 94. And that flash 
towards deep backward point. Vijay Surya from third man runs round to field. The batsman takes two. Trouble there. He's on ten. Single. Single to me, that. Good run. Good running. Near that, of course, very, very quick. As we know, it gets things back in up. That's a hundred of the Pakistan innings. And well run. To me, Raja, he pulled him round to mid wicket, and that's a fine shot. That's a far shot by Ravi Raja. Well, it was a glorious shot. Really shot of length, and he picked it up beautifully, right in the middle of the bat. Is the replay short? Picked it up beautifully. Perfect position to play that shot. The shot of the match so far. That Nike to Ramiz. Driven. Goes to 49. That is 50, yes, I mean. The scoreboard shows it at 48. But the crowd seems to know. <laughs> Ramesh Ratnai came out to bowl to Miyadad. Finally, we're getting some cricket. <laughs> and uh, it's a somewhat untidy cricket there. Some the players falling over each other. Driven, square, one, uh, Rami is quite uh, ready for the second, sent back by Miyadad. So that's one more to Pakistan. Driven, he didn't quite get hold of it. And this to Miyadad. Swept by Miyadad, to carry for four, the fine shot. International match में ये रमीश राजा की चौथी निस्तंती होगी। और रमीश राजा की निस्तंती की तवकों में तवशायों की पुरजोश तालियां रमेश अपनाए के रमीश राजा को और इसके साथ ही रमीश राजा की निश्चय की मुकम्मल हो गई शानदार निश्चय की रमीश राजा की और यहाँ पर आए हुए क्रिकेट की चैपियन की बहुत बड़ी तादाद का जबरदस्त राजी तहसीन इस नौजवान बैट्समैन बहुत ही अच्छी इनिंग है ये रमीश राजा की इनके पचास के आचार्य अच्छे पर दो रन बनाने की बस बहुत है अच्छी बिल्डिंग दिलीप मेंडिस की बड़ा दिल का शिष्टों क्या रह गया था आपका चार रन दो फील्डों के होते दरमियान से होती हुई गेंद बाउंड्री लाइन के बाहर और दोनों में से किसी के लिए कोई मौका नहीं था गेंद को रोकने बहुत ही खूबसूरत शॉट था ये गेंद अंदर आया और जवेद नियाजाद ने बहुत ही अच्छा एंटीसिपेट किया और मिड विकेट जो कि सीधी थी मिड विकेट और मेडॉन के दरमियान में से बहुत ही अच्छा ये रिप्ले में देखें रत्नाई के गेम अंदर आया जवेद मियाँ ने बहुत ही अच्छा शॉट खेला बहुत ही अच्छा प्लेस किया मिड ऑन और स्पीड मिड विकेट के दरमियान से जावेद मियाँ भी सीरीज में बड़ी उम्दा फॉर्म में नजर आती है जी हाँ एक बार बता फिर देखें दोनों फील्डरों के बीच में से बहुत ही खूबसूरती से प्लेस किया गया है आज सुबह पाकिस्तान की टीम के कप्तान जावेद मियादाद ने टॉस जीतने के बाद श्रीलंका को खेलने की दावत दी श्रीलंका ने अड़तीस ओवरों में दो सौ अट्ठाईस रन बनाए इस तरह पाकिस्तान को दो सौ उनतीस रन चाहिए हैं ये मैच जीतने के लिए रंजन मधु काले जो अभी तक इस टूअर पर ज़्यादा स्कोर नहीं कर पाए थे बेहतरीन स्कोरर रहे उन्होंने तिहत्तर रन बनाए 
پاکستان کی طرف سے تاہر نقائش سب سے کامیاب بالر تھے جنہوں نے تین وکٹیں حاصل کی اسٹینڈ کا ایک منظر جیسا کہ میں آپ کو بتا رہا تھا کہ بہت بڑی تعداد یہاں کرکٹ کے شائقین کی موجود ہے اس سیریز کا یہ تیسرا ون ڈے انٹرنیشنل میچ ہے جو پاکستان اور سری لنکا کی ٹیموں کے درمیان قزاق اسٹیڈیم میں کھیلا جا رہا ہے تو جتنی بھی بولنگ ہوئی ہے سری لنکن بولنگ جتی ہے زیادہ تر انہوں نے کانسنٹریٹ لیکس سائیڈ پہ کی ہے اور جوید میاں دار مدفر نظر رمیز یہ سارے بہت ہی اچھا آن پہ کھیلتے ہیں کیونکہ انہوں نے جتنے پاکستان کے سٹرانگ پوائنٹ پہ انہوں نے گیم کی ہے لگتا ہے کہ کوئی پلیننگ میں ہی ہے کہ کس طرح پاکستانی بیٹسمنوں کو انہوں نے گیم کرنا ہے سری لنکا کی بولنگ کا ایک جائزہ حسان تھا کہ میل جنہوں نے بولنگ کا آغاز کیا تھا پانچ اوور کوئی میڈے نہیں اکیس رن ایک وکٹ ویڈوزن جان نے چھے اوور کیے کوئی میڈے نہیں چونتیس رن دیئے کوئی وکٹ حاصل نہیں کی آہنگاما تین اوور کوئی میڈے نہیں تیس رن دیئے کوئی وکٹ حاصل نہیں کی رمیش شتنائی کے خرچے مہنگے رہے چار اوور کوئی میڈے نہیں تیس رن اوور کوئی وکٹ حاصل نہیں کی اور بجے سوریا نے دو اوور پھیکے جس میں انہوں نے آٹھ رن دیئے انتخاب وجہ سوریا ٹیم میں واحد سپنر ہیں اور میں سمجھتا ہوں انہوں نے بھی کوئی خاص خاص کو بیٹسمن پر نہیں چھوڑا جی ہاں جبکہ اس طرح کی سچویشن ہو اور فیل پیسنگ بھی میں سمجھتا ہوں کہ اتنی صحیح نہیں ہے ان کے لیے کیونکہ میڈاف اور میڈاون انہوں نے پیچھے رکھا ہوا ہے تو بیٹسمن کو رسک لینی کی بھی ضرورت نہیں ہے تو آرام سے سنگل ہو جاتی ہے اگر آپ سنگل سے ہی اوور میں پانچ یا چھے رن بنا لیتے ہیں تو آپ کی تارگٹ جو آپ کو حاصل ہو جاتا ہے آپ کو رسک لینے کی ضرورت ہی نہیں ہوتی اور اگر ایک دو گین میں نے دیکھے ہیں کہ ٹرن ہوئے ہیں اگر ان کے کہیں کہ تھوڑی بہت ٹرننگ گریٹ ملے تو میں سمجھتا ہوں کہ کافی یوسفل بولر ثابت ہو سکتے ہیں حالانکہ یہ تیسرا ون ڈے میچ ہے اور پہلے دو میچوں کے بعد سری لنکا کے بولروں کو پتہ لگ جانا چاہیے کہ پاکستان کے جو پہلے فرنٹ لائن کے جو بیٹسمن ہیں ان کے سٹرانگ پوائنٹس کہاں ہیں اور بقیدہ پلیننگ اس کے حساب سے ان کو گیم کیے جائیں جیسا کہ میں نے کہا کہ اب تک جتنے بھی بولوں نے گیم کی ہیں سب نے زیادہ تر کونسنٹریٹ کیا لیک سائی پہ میں پہلے بھی یہ بات کہہ چکا ہوں کہ اگر آپ سیدھی گیم کریں بکٹوں میں تو آپ کو ہمیشہ چانس ہوتا ہے کہ اگر آپ جب رینگز چیز کر رہے ہوں کبھی اکراس دا لائن کھیل جائیں الو ڈبلو کے بڑے چانسز ہوتے ہیں پھر کوٹ بیہائنگ کے بڑے چانسز ہوتے ہیں پھر بولڈ ہونے کے بہت چانس ہوتے ہیں جب آپ لیگ سائٹ پر گین کر دیتے ہیں تو وہ ایک طرح کی فری ہٹ مل جاتی ہے تو بیٹسن کے اتنا پریشر نہیں ہوتا کہ جب ان کو ریگلور سنگل ملتی جائیں تو کوئی پریشر بیٹسن سے نہیں ہوتا اور نہ بیٹسن کو رسک لینے کی ضرورت ہوتی ہے انتخاب اس دورے میں ایک اور دلچسپ پہلو سری لنکا کا یہ سامنے آیا ہے کہ ایک زمانہ آپ کو یاد ہوگا کہ سری لنکا کی ٹیم بھی بھارت کی طرح سپنس پر بڑا انحصار کرتی تھی جی ہاں اگر اب سری لنکا کا زیادہ تر انحصار ان کی تیز بولرز پر ہیں جی ہاں ان کے پاس تین چار بولر اچھے ہیں اب سوائے ڈیمیل کے باقی جو ہیں ان کے بولر ہیں ان ایکسپیرینس ہیں اوڑے سے جتنی زیادہ انہیں کرکٹ ملے گی اتنی زیادہ اچھے بولر ثابت ہو سکتے ہیں ایک رنگ کے اضافے سے پاکستان کی انہیں دو رنگ لینے میں کامیاب ہوئے جعوید میں اداد ان کا انسادی سکور چوب چھبیس ایک رنگ کا اور اضافہ بھرپور قوت والا شوق رمیز راجہ کا جس پر انہوں نے چار رنس حاصل کیے ان کا یہ روی میں پلے میں دیکھیں رسنائی کے یہ اند حالا کے اتنا آگے نہیں گرا ہوا تھا یہ آن دی اپ انہوں نے سیدھے بلے سے بہت ہی اندہ شوق کھیلا ایک سو تیس پاکستان دو وکٹوں کے نقصان پر ستنائے کے ایک آب بتیس ماہ ونڈے انٹرنیشنل میچ سری لنکا کی طرف سے ان 
the shot. And now it's Shandar Kaj. Ramiz Raja out. And Shandar Kaj has taken the D-Mail. The game is still there. And the third team has taken the D-Mail. The D-Mail 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 has taken the D-Mail. ये गेंद दरअसल से जरा बाहर निकला और ये से ये वी प्ले में देखें ये ऑन साइड पे खेलना चाहते थे रुमे थोड़ा सा गेंद बाहर निकला और आउटर एज लगा और बहुत ही शानदार कैच डिमेल ने ये देखें डाइव करके ये कैच किया और ये बहुत ही कीमती विकेट ली है श्रीलंकन ने और इसे आउट करने के बाद ऑन साइड पर खेलने गेंद थोड़ा सा बाहर निकला और ये टॉप एज निकला और डिमेल पिक्चर में नजर आए आपको बहुत ही अच्छा कैच बैटिंग करने के लिए आए थर्ड मैन पर आ जाए दूसरे रन के लिए बड़ी जल्दी की भी आदात है और दूसरा रन भी मुकम्मल हुआ विक्टो के दरमियान दौड़ ने कौन दा मुजाहरा जिसकी भरपूर दाद جاوید میں ادارت نے وصول کی دو رنس کے اضافے جی خواہد اور یہ بڑی صحیح حکمت عملی ہے میں دوستہ ہوں میرا اٹھارہ رنس کی پل ٹانس اور زہیر عباد کا دوزار سٹوک دو رنس لینے میں کامیاب ہوئی زہیر عباد مدو گالے بلکل باؤنڈی لینڈ پر فیلڈنگ کر رہے ہیں لہٰذا صرف ایک رن لینے کا باقا مل سکتا ہے جہیر عباس کو چوبیس سو آور ہے رمیس سے سیم راج سیٹی ٹری more than what they required when they started. So. Pulled him away down to deep mid wicket, that's four runs. A bad ball that was slow, long haul. Javed had all the time in the world to pull it into the vacant mid-wicket region. Good shot, that was. So that's five in the over already. Straight drive by Zaheed. Rana from the running ground. One more run. He's now 45. Ahangama doing the fielding at long off. That's a nice shot by Zaheed. And once again, Ahangama having to do some work. Cuts him down to deep now to Miyata. Nice smooth drive towards deep mid off. They'll get two. Once again, John doing the fielding. Sound facing Rana Tunga. Steered away to deep cover. Cut down to backward point. Vijay Surya runs down the field. Niyadad gets a single, goes to 49. Beautiful shot. By the replay. 
and just guiding it to Surya to Miyada. On his 50 at the moment. And that's it. Javed Miyada not out. 50. Applause all around. This is Miyada's 1550 in one day international. He also has two centuries. Miyada, the seventh from Vijayasuriya. Bounces away. It's the armor. Zahir. now to Zahir. Going through for the second, Ramesh Ratnaika's throw comes in now. This time it's the other baseman, the Northern John. Zahid now 19. Rana Tunga now to Javed Niyada. The use of the wrists there, guiding the ball towards mid wicket. to be fine leg, go for four. Four more to Miyadat. Left swept, left going to go for four. No stopping that one. A fine shot. That was placed on the off stump, or slightly after the off stump, and Javed swept him from there. Summarily dispatched to the boundary. Here's the replay. There, keeping it. There it is again. This time towards long leg and would be cut off. Two more runs, and that's so far 10 in the over. pushed away onto the release some of the pressure on these two batsmen regarding run rate in fact it's going to be 12 of the over now Demel doing the fielding at square leg Zaheer getting a single a look at that no it wasn't a chance no hit it hard on the ground and yes I think it went off the ground yes, yes. otherwise there would have been 5.85 is the run rate required Zaheer facing it that's a good delivery. Bold him. That's the end of Zahir Abbas's inning. Bold by Ranatunga. And the balance has once again swung just a bit, making this match even more interesting. Pulling off middle stump. Rather left him a bit. Zahir playing it across the line. Not watching the ball for four. Must be in a good mix. So a few runs in Faisalabad. His first 50. In Gujamala. Yes, in Gujamala, sorry. Not many Pakistanis got to bat at Faisalabad. <laughs> Vijay Surya there coming round to steers towards third man. Vijay Surya having a lot of work to do. There's an appeal for a run out. Just to get through the vacant flip area. He's just in, yes. Yeah. Comes away, Tart takes the cover, four runs. Very Each two fielders. Beautiful stroke. For the loss of four wickets. Salim Malik is not out. Eight. 
Javed Miyazad is not out 63. 33 runs are now required. Six overs are left. The asking rate 5.5 runs per over. Very sensibly paced. Now Demel. Miyazad at signal. Sisali Malik. Single. Miyadad once again a sharp single well run. Demel to Salim Malik. That's a lovely struck by Salim Malik to mid wicket. That's going for four. As he batted at Kojanwala, he exactly here to Salim Malik. And that uh, may be a run out if it's a direct hit, but uh, in the end, Miyadad makes it comfortably. He's halfway down the wicket when he was sent back. And he really had to scamper home. Tremendous excitement here at Gaddafi Stadium. Well, Javed wanted to take single and Malik was looking at the ball rather than That's <laughs> right. holding his ball. Uh, uh, back of the wicket too, and it was Miyadad's call. Let's see that again. Playing on the left side. Javed making it off to win, and there are five overs in to Miyadad. That's driven. Smack to extra cover. It's going to be fielded there by Demel. The batsman takes two. It's a good shot from uh, Javed Miyadad. Didn't quite get hold of it, but. Uh, Probably stuck all the same. A long chase for Demel. A mate for Saike to near the heart. Full toss. Played out to deep mid wicket. Saike to Salim Malik. Driven. And uh, that's. Is that a catch? Yes, it is. It looks like a fair catch. Yes, it is. What a superb catch by Demel. Well, this is the second brilliant catch we have taken. Yes, really, uh, very well anticipated. Catch, uh, by Demel. So that's the end of Salim Malik. So we're getting drama right up to close. Still, plenty of interest left in this One Day International. That's the replay. Looks like a bowling to Salim Malik. Ball pitching of the off stump, and Salim Malik really hit a middle of the bat, but he was in the air. As now you see Demel in the picture, diving in front of him and taking a brilliant catch, inches off the ground. Superb catch, really acrobatic, brilliant catch there by Demel to dismiss. So let's take a look at Demel's make that catch, diving in front of him and coming up with the ball. A clean catch and a very, very good one indeed. So, uh, Coming into a situation, he obviously will relish. Chance to provide some further entertainment okay. to Miyadar. Over pitch. Single. No, one, it's not the end of the over. I thought that may have been the end of the over. There was wide cheering. One more ball to go. They were cheering for, I think, Imran taking the strike. So here's Ramesh Ratnayake to Imran. Full toss. Demel coming in now to Miyadad. Demel to Miyadad. Turn to D square leg. They take one and they'll go through for the second. So that's two more to Pakistan. He, they go on to 209 for five. Third one day international and with it the series. Jamel to Miyadar. Might be gone. We have to wait for that. I've lost sight of it. It's four to mid wicket. Tremendous blow there by Javed Miyadar.
Well, the best part of the shot you can play when you're really in form. Yes. And you sing a cricket ball like a Really in shot. Yeah. 213 means that Pakistan now requires 16 runs. 16 to win. 16 to win. Gimel, near that. Seven. I take one. Near that camp was down for the second. The bit of misfielding there by Rana Tunga. So that two more runs to Pakistan, two more to Jared Miyadad. Tremendous excitement for Miyadad trying to wrap things up. Fourteen runs in twenty deliveries. That's your basic arithmetic death. 14 runs in 20 deliveries for Pakistan to win this match and the series. Kimel to Miyazat. Played out wide of uh, long on two runs. Javed Miyazat. So 12 runs required and 19 deliveries. We're certainly keeping Sunny busy. Twelve runs and nineteen deliveries. Still twelve runs and nineteen deliveries. The end of the Mel's over. Well, it's been a fine knock. But very, very, fine knock. Up. very, very good now. Captain Vinny has played, and you can't ignore the inning of Ramesh Raja yes. either. Both of them played that really a magnificent cricket. Really the, the they had a very difficult target. Let's briefly review it. That's yes, now sir. the target asking right now is four and over. Let's see the replay of that. Mira pulling that out to mid wicket. That was four runs. When Pakistan started, uh, it was a very steep target. They required uh, 6.02. And that meant they had to uh, plan the, this assault, which they have managed to do extremely well. And the foundation for that assault was laid by Javed Miyadad and by Ramiz Raja. It was a very powerful partnership by those two. And now the position is that Pakistan required what, uh, I mean, Rana Tunga going off the field because I think when he was fielding that last ball, he took a knock on his finger. Going off, he may have... Uh, I think Javed may have probably wants a glass of water. And uh, Javed taking uh, the opportunity to get a glass of water. That was Seem Akram, young left-hand fast bowler with the glass of water for Javed Miyadad. So 12 runs required in uh, three overs. We've just come in after the dismissal of Salim Malik. So make that night here to Imran. Imran off the map. Played out to deep cover. the off stump. You have made the target to near that. He flashes that one to this point. There's a vegetarian. Near that gets two. That's 220 now. Five in Pakistan require nine runs. <laughs> nine runs in 15 deliveries. It could be more deliveries if there are wides or no balls, but uh, nine runs in 15 deliveries. Driven. 
Keep cover, one run. 221 for five. Couldn't quite get hold of that. Pick outside edge. Uh, to third man, Imran gets a single. 2 2 2 for 5. 7 runs now required in 13 deliveries. Take a That's look at the that. Replay. Put Mikey Bowling to Imran. Getting an outside edge. And Out. Get Laid out deep square leg, a single, out in the silver field. 2-2-3 two, two, for 5, which means that 6 runs are now required, and there are 2 of us to go. There's fairly simple mathematics involved in that. 2 of us to go, and 6 runs required by Pakistan to win the third One Day International. Near that is on 83. in two overs, happily perched above the scoreboard, enjoying a rather high view. Demel to Miadat. He covers. Very mellow by now. We've lost uh, the sun and uh, down covered in shade. The light perfectly good, playable, but uh, none of the brightness that we've had all day. Mel to Miyazad. At four runs, beautifully hit. Proudly driven to mid wicket. He goes to 87, and two runs needed. What's the replay? Demel to Jawed. Well fished ball, and driven beautifully. He was in a beautiful position to hit that shot. So two runs required for Pakistan to win the third one day international and the series is in comes Jamel to Miadad and he's hoisted that to the mid wicket boundary that's four runs and that's that's it Pakistan have won the third one day international very comfortably indeed he's won the match heaved over deep mid wicket and there was jubilation all around Pakistan winning this match by five wickets and winning the series as well. From the other angle, there's a Sri Lankan fielder just stand there as the ball crosses the ropes. Match, which was played in Lahore, Pakistan's Fatah, with the Kapsitam Stadium.